Hey, what's up guys? Chris here, and look what I found. I found the Dino Charge Gold Ranger the day after I found the Dino Charge Graphite Ranger. So everything's coming up, Chris. Maybe tomorrow if I go to the toy store, they'll have all the bad guys. I need all the bad guys. The good guys have to fight the bad guys, so yeah. Alright, enough rambling. Let's get this guy out of this box. So there we go. We got the Gold Ranger out of the box. And I just have to say, he looks great. I really like this figure. I don't know what's up, but just like the Graphite Ranger, he doesn't look too muscular to me. I don't know if it's the paint, or it's a different mold, or if it's me just getting used to the figures. I just really like this figure. The paint detail on the chest and the front looks really, really nice. I like the paint that they chose. It doesn't seem too bad in like certain areas. Like It's just sharp and just well done. Uh, shoulder pads have some paint right here, and I really like it. The helmet sculpt is amazing, and the paint job on that is just, it's just awesome. I really, really like the figure. Uh, his, the articulation on the head is hindered right here by the, the shoulder pads, but I mean, he's not turn, he only has to turn his head that far, so that's not a big deal. And these shoulder pads don't go up like the other rangers, but that doesn't hinder it too much I mean I don't want to pose his hands all the way up like pretty much this would be the pose I think I'm just gonna have him in accessory wise he's got this bracelet that seems to have a blade so that's sort of neat and the long sword it's really cool uh, it's not painted and why would it be if every other figure in the line doesn't have painted accessories that'd be really upsetting if this one did and the other ones didn't just unfair I think that would be a nitpick uh, if you're able to do it on this figure, why couldn't you do it on the rest? But he's got the rotating glove, just like all the other ones. Uh, you know, goes like this, can swing back. Uh, soccer kicking knee. He can do the splits, which is awesome. And the boot rotates. Overall, I'm generally pleased with this figure. He's got great detail for $9.99 and even has a little cute tattoo on his butt. You know, check that out. And if you haven't, go ahead and click the subscribe button that just pops up on the screen. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite villain's been so far. Mine's been Ice Age, because uh, I've only watched one episode of Dino Charge. But thanks for watching. Have a nice day.